What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on with derivatives. We have to differentiate this big function here. 3x squared times 1 minus 2x cubed all over 1 plus x to the power of 3. And we're not going to simplify this. So this is going to test more so what order we are finding the derivative of this in. Because notice there's a lot going on here. We have a function over another function. And then the function in the numerator is the product of two functions. Then we got composite functions. How are we going to find the derivative? And then we're not going to simplify because as you'll see, it's going to be a huge expression. Simplifying would take forever. That's not the point of this question. The point of this question is to test the order in which we do things. So how are we going to differentiate this? Well, first thing to realize is that overall, this function is one function divided by another. So we got a function in the numerator over another function in the denominator. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to apply the quotient rule on this, right? This is a rational function. And then next thing to notice is that the function in the numerator is the product of two functions, as I mentioned before. So when we take the derivative of that numerator, function within the quotient rule, we're going to have to apply the product rule. And then when we take the derivative of this function here, notice that's a composite function, so we're going to have to apply the chain rule there. So we're going to have to apply the product rule and the chain rule within the quotient rule. Hopefully that makes sense. So anyway, let's get to it. So first thing we do, apply the quotient rule. So we take the derivative of the top function but the derivative of the top function, we're going to have to apply the product rule on this. So the derivative of this function, 3x squared, is just 6x. You would rewrite 1 minus 2x cubed. And then we're going to be adding this function left as is times the derivative of 1 minus 2x cubed, which would just be negative 6x squared. So this square bracket here represents the derivative of the numerator function. And then going back to the quotient rule, we take the derivative of the numerator function, multiply it by the function in the denominator left as is. And then we're going to subtract the function in the numerator left as is. So I would write 3x squared times 1 minus 2x cubed multiplied by the derivative of the denominator function. And to take the derivative of that, we got to apply the chain rule because it's a function within another function. So bring the 3 down, rewrite 1 plus x, and then that's going to be squared. And then taking the derivative of the bracket, that would just be 1. Right? And then all of this is going to be over the function in the denominator squared. So we'd have 1 plus x to the power of 3. That's going to be squared. And you could just multiply these two exponents. So instead of writing this, we can just write 1 plus x to the power of 6. And that is it. That is the non-simplified derivative of this function here. And notice that simplifying this would take us forever. There's not too many common things we could take out. We would have to um, simplify this bracket, simplify all this. Anyway, I'm not even going to get into it. So this is the final answer here. So just as a recap, what we did was we first applied the quotient rule. Right? Because it's a function over another one. However, when we took the derivative of this function over here in this square bracket, we had to apply the product rule. And then when we took the derivative of this function here, we had to apply the chain rule. Right, so we start off with the quotient rule, and then within the quotient rule, we had to apply the product rule and the chain rule. 